Hello everybody, this is Dr. Derek here with Divine Spine Chiropractic, located in the old Ballard Firehouse in sunny downtown Ballard. And this is health tip number two for 2013. It is part two of our series of making your resolutions into results. And so the key thing I want to talk about today is the why. W-H-Y. Why are we doing what we're doing? Why do we want to be healthy? What I've noticed working with people over the years is that if you don't have a big enough why, you're more likely not going to succeed. We have to understand what are the reasons behind you wanting to be healthy. What are the bigger reasons? Not just about your own health, but maybe outside of yourself. Like who are the people in your life that are going to be affected by you being healthier, living life with more vitality? So we need to understand what that why is. And so what I want to do today is I want to share with you some specific questions that will help you not only understand your why, but also to really help you make it a reality. So when you have the vision, which is the first step, what it, you can look like or what health looks like for you, your why needs to be big enough so that you can accomplish it. Accomplish it. So grab a pen or a pen, p pencil and a piece of paper and write these questions down so that you can ponder them later. So the first question is, what would be so good about you accomplishing your stated health goals this year? The second one, is there anything that you can think of that, will, that you will need to know how to do in order to get where you want to go? What will need to get done is, this, is the third question. And how will it need, need to get done? How will, you, you know, how will you get it done? The next question is how close are you to your ideal picture of health? And how quickly do you believe you could get there? The next one is, what weaknesses will, will you have to overcome to get to your goal? And what strengths do you have that will help you? Are there any other obstacles that you can foresee that you will have to overcome? And what are the interim goals can you create and how will you reward your accomplishments? So think in terms of this week or even this day, this month, this quarter, the half year goal, and the full year goal. It's really powerful if you set little rewards for yourself along the way. So if you have a great day, you follow through with those objectives that you need, set yourself up with a reward. Maybe it's going out to have a movie with your significant other. Maybe it's you know meeting with some friends that you normally wouldn't do. Like set up some type of reward that will you know keep you driving yourself forward. You know, maybe a six month goal of accomplishing something would be going on a trip or maybe the full year goal that could be a trip somewhere. But that's a really powerful way. And then the next question would be, how else can you stay motivated? So you want to think about creative ways that you can keep yourself motivated. Rally people around you. You know, ask them to hold you accountable. But ask them to inspire you. If you have somebody in your life that you get inspired by, see if they'll join your health team and help you stay on, on track. And what will you need to see by when to keep you going? So whatever that target is, what will you need to see to keep you motivated going forward? So be clear on what that looks like. And what resources will you need this month or this quarter, this half year to help you achieve that? So you want to be specific. Like, do you need a personal trainer? Do you need a life coach? Do you need, you know, um, a nutritionist? If you need any of those services outside of what we're doing here at Divine Spine, or if, you, or if you're somebody who's really watching this and you don't have a chiropractor, chiropractors are great resources for these types of things. But if you need any of those other services, let me know because I have people that I belong to in my networking group that can help you with those things. So those are some specific questions that you can utilize in this second part of our making your resolutions into results that will help you drive forward and be successful this year, 2013. And understand it's a journey, it's a process. Enjoy the journey. Don't think about you know, how hard it may be or difficult it may be. Think about the why. What is the reason that you're doing this? The bigger picture here. And hopefully it's not only about you, but it's about other people in your life that you, know, you want to be around with, to share life with. So that's this week's health tip. I hope it was helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions about it. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of this week, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Make it a great day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.